Hey guys, so what does this plant have in common with Kanye West or the artist formerly known as Prince? Well, we used to call this a Sansevieria, and now it's referred to as a Dracaena angolensis. Not a symbol, nor does it quite roll off the tongue like Cardi B, but there were some legitimate reasons for updating and changing the name of this plant. Whatever you choose to call it, in this video, I'm gonna be sharing everything you need to know about the African spear plant, as well as how to separate and propagate this Starfish snake plant. Wow, this plant has a lot of names. Let's jump right into crucial care tips without delay before separating or propagating this plant. These plants are considered fairly low maintenance and can survive quite some time without human intervention or water. So definitely do not overwater these plants. You can water these plants periodically throughout the growing season, which is spring through fall, and you're, wanna, you're going to want to cut back to basically about, well, next to never for the winter months. The cylindrical snake plant, yet another name, will thrive in full and partial light conditions. You could fertilize these plants a very little amount using a diluted liquid fertilizer in the growing season, but definitely less is more. These are not heavy or moderate feeders. Now, as far as soil mix goes, using something or multiple products that will um, encourage really great drainage is key. I even went as far to include some horticultural charcoal in mine to absorb any excess moisture. Thanks for checking out this video. I'm Tyler and if you like what you're seeing or you find this video to be useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up or better yet, you can subscribe to my channel. Now I've recently started vlogging and I have a few videos up on my channel so please check those out. This way I get to share even more cool amazing things with you guys. But quickly just some uh, housekeeping. Um, these new vlogs will be coming out on Mondays and I will continue to upload new videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays as well. If you have any thoughts or comments on any of this, I would love to hear them, so please don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. Dracaena angolensis like to be a root bound, and that's where the pot or container is basically almost too small for the plant and the roots get to stay nice and snug. That means you don't need to repot these plants very often. Every few years is probably ideal, and you're gonna wanna wait until, well, your Dracaena looks like this where the pot is overcrowded. Now, make sure to use a container or pot with really good drainage. That includes drainage holes. I'm actually going to be using three of these pots, and I actually need to drill some drainage holes into the bottom, so let me head so let me go ahead and do that now. Now I have three pots, like I said, because I'm going to be separating um, this plant. I'm gonna be separating these three sort of fanned out portions um, to their own individual pot. Now, another indicator uh, to know if it's time to repot or not, other than it being crowded, is take a look at each of these uh, cylinders and they need to ideally be at least half a foot long uh, before you should consider separating or propagating uh, this plant. In order to do this effectively, you're going to need a sharp, sterile knife. If you're interested in more content like this, please don't hesitate to give this video a thumbs up or leave a comment down below. To really show me some love, click the bell for alerts and notifications for future content. Now I'm going to be saving the potting mix that is currently um, in use with this plant and I actually have some additional um, Akidama um, that I'm going to be using uh, as well. All right, so first I need to get this plant out of this pot and I'm going to use this uh, bowl uh, underneath to capture any of the uh, soil mix. Now a chopstick is a really handy tool to loosen up 
any of the uh, soil mix um, around uh, the edges of the pot so that it becomes a lot easier to then remove the plant. All right, so once you've removed uh, a lot of the excess soil mix and you can uh, check out the roots, um, this is the point where you're going to need your sharp sterile knife and I'm going to have to very carefully um, basically slice uh, the root ball um, into three. Uh, so let's get the knife out. And overboard. All right, so basically that is now one uh, that's being separated out. And I did have to cut this larger root, um, which was connected to one of the other uh, fans. So um, that's why you need that sharp knife. All right, one cut down, one to go. Um, just kind of want to consider um, you know, using cutting at an angle in which um, you're going to allow both pieces or both of these fans uh, to maintain uh, as much of the root ball uh, individually as possible. So I think I'm going to kind of go in on an angle here uh, with this last cut very carefully. Right. And so. All right, there we go. So now I have uh, three um, distinct um, plants now. Uh, so I've kind of propagated this from one into three, and I'm gonna position them in their new pots with some of the pre-existing soil mix uh, and some of this new akidama. All right, so now I'm going to add um, this akidama um, to the pre-existing soil mix and then I'm going to basically fill up each container uh, with this combination and yeah basically then I will have successfully propagated um, the cylindrical snake plant so let me do that real quick and show you what it looks like when it's all said and done All right, so those potted up quite nicely, actually, and I'm going to let them get settled in their new containers before watering them in about a week or two. And uh, if all goes as planned, they should grow and sprout a whole bunch of new growth. So super excited about that. Smell the roses Try hard not to lose focus There's too much to do all right guys, that's it for me. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh yeah, don't forget to give it a thumbs up or better yet, hit that subscribe button. Miss you guys already. Until the next one.